Each of them has a life expectancy of up to 100 years in the environment. They need no battery or power source externally because they are powered by the electromagnetic radiation in the air that we breathe. It's a new way of thinking about distribution. It means absolute consistency every time. It means total knowledge, up to 70% uh, uh, reduction in theft losses. Look at these kind of metrics. They are incredible. 40% um, increase in warehouse efficiencies. That's quite typical of my clients who have used this in the last 18 to 24 months. Uh, and uh, CK, I think you've been wishing they had RFID technology on your bags. If they had, we would at least know where they were. We'd be able to work out every container, not just the containers, but also to micromanage every cubic meter inside every cardboard box. If you're in the health industry, this kind of technology produces huge benefits in terms of security, counterfeiting, quality control, clinical monitoring. Uh, we can go one stage further if you like. We can put them inside the brain. Here are human nerve cells growing onto the surface of an RFID type chip. Uh, human brain cells don't need to be taught to do this. They are genetically programmed to work with computers. In fact, they love computers. Here's an example. Here is a chip. There's the chip. You put the brain tissue on and it organizes itself. The brain cells work their way in and they start communicating with each other and with the brain of the PC. Uh, so it means we can have thinking computers. I sat next to a friend of mine at dinner the other day. Actually, it was the first time I'd met him that night. As he, uh, he picked up his fork and he went mm, with his arm. Then his, his hand went round. He spun his hand round twice, three times, four times, and then spun it back again. I said, how did you do that? He said, I'm thinking about it. He was controlling his bionic arm by thinking alone. Uh, not quite in this way, but in a related way. Fast, urban, tribal, universal. It's all part of globalization. And the big prize, really, is to get this off the 10 billion boxes in Walmart every year and put it on the product. And Metro has already started doing that in Germany. That's history. You tell me the future. When you start tagging product, you're talking about maybe 10 trillion of these devices every few years entering the environment. You're talking about total knowledge of consumer behavior watched in real time and huge business opportunities. Why? Because it means we can then start to predict human behavior. We can watch product moving around the store. We can see the kinds of decisions that people make. And as we do, we get an emotional reaction. Why? I said, the future isn't about technology. It's not about RFID. It's about emotion. <laughs>